Go to the Tools panel in Illustrator and select the Rectangle tool. With that, just create a very quick rectangle down there. And I'm going to go for about width of about 30. You can just see the little indicator saying width of 30. Now with that, what I can do, I can fill it with a gradient. Now I've got gradients over here on the swatches panel. And you've got obviously a number of swatches. But you can also create swatches as well. Gradient swatches. And I'm going to go with this one. This is one that I created earlier. And please check out my video on how to create gradient swatches. So I'm just going to select that, the gradient tool, and just drag it downwards so you can just see the colour. So it's made up of blue, greens, etc. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply an effect to it. So with that selected, I can go to Effect and Distort and Transform. Now I've said it's 30, so that's the width, and that's what you need. 30, 40, whatever it is. And go to Transform. And with that, what you can do, you can turn around and say, Move. I want it to be moved by 30. And you can see it moves there. However, I don't obviously just want one, I want 50. So 50 there. And you can see it's applied straight across like that. However, what you can also do is you can use this option, Reflect Y, which is a very nice sort of feature. So Reflect Y means it just flips it backwards and forwards. Click OK. And of course, that's quite a nice gradient already. I think that's quite a decent one. However, what you can also do if you've got Randomino, and this is a plugin set from Astute Graphics, please check out their website, Astute Graphics, and just go to Object Menu and Expand Appearance. So now it's all been expanded, it's back to just standard lines, but filled with a gradient. Window and down to Astute Graphics and Randomino. What you can do, you've got here Color. Live effects, move, etc. Well, I'm going to go with the color option. I could, of course, use some of the other ones as well. You can see I've got the full range of the colors, I've got the full range for saturation, full range for brightness, and you can see a preview of the colors that it's going to generate. And also randomize. Just click. And you can see straight away what happens. Generates very, very colorful designs very quickly. And of course, what you've got, you've got all these different gradients. And then you can obviously close that and well you can also select them individually so you can go to object and ungroup so if you want to you can ungroup it so you can select that and you can see now of course what you've also got is you've got a swatch over here in the swatches panel here's the swatches panel you can always go to the right side new swatch click ok and you can save it so maybe go for this one i think that looks quite nice again right side new swatch click ok now unfortunately you can't select all of them all at the same time, and then say, just put them all to swatches. That would be lovely. But say you might think, oh, you know what, well, that one looks great. And that one I can go new swatch, click OK. And it's added to the swatches panel. Now this is only for this document. So of course, if you go to another document, you'll get back to the same old swatches. So again, you can select another one, say new swatch, click OK. And you can see you've got those designs and you can use them obviously in other work. If you want to, you can always save this design, this swatches panel, to an AI file and then use it later. Well, randomino, you can just select them again and just apply them again if you want to select the load and then just randomize it again. And you can see the result there. You create a million different designs very quickly, lots of multicolored ones, which can then be used, of course, with circles, many other parts as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.